Right, in this video, we're going to show you uh, our upgrade from the Outlock Axleback system to the American Thunder Axleback system, as you can see both in this picture here. Uh, just a quick note on the driver's side, I'd already installed the hanger. So if you want to look back on the uh, Outlaw Axleback video to see how I did that, please do so. I can put a link down below and sit back and enjoy. Right, so this is actually pretty easy. I already looked at the directions and all I got to do is put these on here, put the little uh, nuts that came with it, the little lock watchers on top of this. So I had to take that off. I thought I was going to have to initially, but apparently I don't. This just goes on top of the stuff that's already there. So obviously anytime you work on stuff like this, be careful. You don't want the stuff to fall down and hit you in the face. But, so I'll give you a heads up. Right. You can see a little difference here right before we slap this new one on. And there's the outlaw, basically straight pipe. So I'm sure there's going to be a pretty good difference in sound, which this is supposed to be the more quieter one, but actually it's more horsepower and torque, according to the website. So anyway, I want to show this to you real quick. Get this baby rolling. As you may notice in these uh, pictures, this system here doesn't have the hanger bar thingy, whatever, on the tip. So I did have to reach out to Flowmaster. They sent me a brand new exhaust. Uh, you know, kudos to them for honoring their product. As you can see here, uh, here's the tip that hanger that has to you have to use. So I want to thank them for doing that and we got the install done after all. So thank you so much, Flowmaster and Holly. All right, a little easy peasy here. As you can see, there's not a bunch of clearance there, but I guess it'll be okay. But anyway, so we got that I used some uh, PB blaster to help ease those on. And of course, here is the muffler itself. Let's see if we can get out the sun here so you can see better. Of course, there is the bars. Yeah, of course, up here. So, you got that slid in all the way. We'll make sure it's slid all the way. Yeah, make sure you position these really good. Uh, you don't want to make it too, obviously. So, anyway, you'll see here, compared to the stock muffler, this is pretty, uh, pretty snug up in there. So, pretty ground clearance. Yeah, plenty of ground, ground clearance. Uh, your lowest points right here on the tip, which is close to the tow hook. You know, I guess if you wanted to, you could probably trim that off a little bit if you wanted to. Uh, but I think it'll work. If you ever get an aftermarket bumper, this is going to be an issue anyway, which we will do eventually. So yeah, compared to the stock bumper, very well uh, hidden and very good clearance. So we'll see what this thing sounds like. Lakeshore Drive, about to get on Lakeshore Drive, give you guys a good feel for what the sound tastes like when we take off here. Now, full disclosure, the windows are up, but the top here, as you can see, is open, so you will, you are going to hear a lot more wind noise than you normally would uh, for this time, so just want to kind of give you guys a heads up on that, and, you know, waiting on the light to turn green, then we'll hit on the on ramp. Give you guys a good feel what this thing sounds like uh, when under load, so... Just a FYI. the outlaw series up to a point 
obnoxious even for my taste. But this will definitely keep the, the spouse happy as well as the family members when they come in to visit and we have to do the touristy stuff in the Bronco. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, you know, pay, you know, pay, uh, sorry, stay tuned. We'll get some more comment to you in the very near future.